Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I'm gonna do a kit review in this video. This is a pretty cool kit, it comes in a nice hard case. Pretty much indestructible, we'll find out that shortly. But I think this is gonna be something you wanna take a look at. Before we get started, I do wanna thank Arms List. I can't put a link down below in the comments or description because YouTube will <coughs> off with the head. But Arms List is a great website if you're looking for deals on things such as these go check them out. I appreciate them sponsoring this video because I'm gonna try my best to destroy this kit and this kit is not a cheap kit. So I appreciate them um, sponsoring it so I can afford to do this. Mrs. Skinny Medic doesn't get mad at me and Lindsay at the shop doesn't get mad at me because I destroyed one of the kits at the shop. So arms list, great deals there. Go check them out. Just go over to the internet, Google or DuckDuckGo, whatever you want to arms list go check them out thank you for sponsoring this video you guys are awesome so this is a new kit from north american rescue that we started carrying at medical gear outfitters we made a little bit of a change to it i'll explain that in just a little bit uh, but this is their individual rugged outdoor kit and it comes in a nice sturdy pelican case we're going to try my best to destroy this pelican case later on in the video but let's go through the contents right now I think this kit's going to belong to someone who likes to spend time outdoors. This kit comes in a nice sturdy pelican case. So if you drop it. That was funny. We're going to leave it. So a nice sturdy case that is crush proof, waterproof, and dust proof. So if you're going to throw it in the back of your vehicle as a kit, it's perfect. If you're going to take it outdoors, camping, RVing, this is a good kit. Boating, I think this is going to be a good kit. So plenty of things outdoors that I think this is a great kit to use. Outside the box here, we have plenty of places to hook a carabiner, or hook some straps to us if you want to hang it from something, keep it in sight, you could absolutely do that. It's a nice sturdy case, we've already talked about that. When you open it up, it has basically two compartments here. We have this kind of like rubbery compartment here that's gonna hold some smaller items in place here that don't like fly up when you take the lid and then you have your mar main compartment on the inside so i think we'll just start kind of going through this and we'll walk through it and then we'll just try to destroy the case so pressure bandage i think this works really good for your moderate to uh, major bleeding because we also have compressed galls here plenty of uses for compressed galls other than major bleeding and wound packing things like that you could use this to secure a splint uh, bandaging, lots of uses for this. Same thing with the pressure bandage. You could use this for a dislocation, a sprained ankle, sprained wrist, uh, a fracture, secure a splint. Maybe you probably have to make a homemade splint because you don't really have a splint in here, but that's okay. But you could absolutely, tons of uses for these two items here. We have a cat tourniquet. Now it does come in bright orange, no problem with that. Because this is an outdoor kit, I'm okay with that. So cat tourniquet, major bleeding arms and legs, Put this on, life-threatening bleeding. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of blood. Just put a tourniquet on it and we're good. Duct tape, a nice roll of duct tape. Tons of uses for duct tape. Even outside of first aid kit wise, tons of uses, repair items. Uh, obviously we can use this to secure splints, things like that. But plenty of uses for duct tape in the outdoor world. So this is a great item to have. Gloves, now we have a pair of large gloves. This is gonna be nice and thick here. So we also have the hand sanitizer too. So if you get some blood on you, things like that, you can use hand sanitizer after the call. Because you're probably gonna be outdoors and you don't have access to a YouTube channel, go, hey, skinny medic, how do I stop major bleeding? You have directions here on how to use your tourniquet and also how to use your chest seal. So good, easy, clear directions on how to use some life-threatening equipment, life-saving equipment in here. CPR shield. Now, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of these. Uh, when you go into cardiac arrest, Things start to relax, um, stomach contents come up. So you're outdoors, you probably had a few beers in you, you probably had some hot dogs, things like that. That's gonna come up. Hot dogs would cause you choking, things like that. But this is for somebody in cardiac arrest or maybe like respiratory arrest when they've had a little too much fun with their narcotics and you need a, a CPR shield. So the thing I don't like about this is when gastric contents start to relax, they tend to come up. These don't do a super well job of protecting you from vomit and nasty stuff coming up. They will protect you, but uh, I like the shields better, but there's not enough room for a actual CPR shield in here. 
Um, get a first aid class, learn CPR. Hands only compressions is awesome. So learn that. We have a survival blanket. Now this is part of the March algorithm, massive bleeding, airway, respiratory circulation, heat loss. So it's easier to prevent hypothermia than it is to fix hypothermia. So survival blankets, huge. You, we've already seen the cat tourniquet, we've seen a pressure bandage, we've seen wound packing galls, things like that. So now we have someone who is super shit, sick that may go into shock. Let's cover them with a Mylar blanket. Now we have a Sharpie. Important to write down information, not only when we apply the cat tourniquet, but maybe the patient's allergies, medicine, past medical history, events leading up to it, you know, that sample uh, algorithm we go through. So sample, signs and symptoms, allergies, medications, pertinent past medical history, uh, last oral intake, and then events leading up to it. So we can write down information for the first responders, which would be important. And then we have a nice little boo-boo kit here. We'll go through that in a second. And hyphen chest seals. These are the compact hyphen, hyphen chest seals. Good coverage for penetrating trauma anywhere in the torso. Now that I have both hands free, let's kind of go through this little boo-boo kit here. So the first thing we're going to see is we have band-aids. This is honestly what you're going to use out of this kit. More than likely, hopefully, fingers crossed, this is like health good healthcare insurance. You want really good coverage, but you really kind of hope you never have to use it. So band-aids, this is what you're going to use the most of. We have some butterfly bandages here too. These are nice when you can't get to urgent care and you just kind of Band-Aid kind of building up that little cushion so you can get to help. Help. This is some stray strips. We have burn gel, which is going to be good for those minor burns. And we have antibiotic ointments for those minor injuries. And then we have some bite and sting pads. I use these all the time in the spring and summertime for my kids, whether they're getting on stepping on ant hills or getting stung by bees. These little things work wonders. So like I said, I think this is one. If you got a Jeep, I think you should own this one. Works good. All right, you never know when you might need your kit in a rainstorm. Boom, everything's dry. All right, Rex, you gonna help me? No, don't drop that. Oh, you're gonna get me in trouble. Hey, can you help me? Let's see, let's switch hands. Rex. Oh, right in the foot. Pick it up, right here. Ah, you're no help. Let's get it, come on. Pick it up, pick it up, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh. Hey. Oh boy, bring it here. Bring it here, Rex. Oh, you're not a good helper. You're not a good helper. Come on, pick it up. Come on. There we go. Okay. Hey, the emergency's over here. Yep, the emergency's over here. Come on. Let's go. Let's go to the emergency room. Come on, let's go. I think that's good. Drop it. Hey. Perfect. Trying to see, trying to see any teeth marks. Looks pretty good, even the dog carrying it.
got a little bit of damage there or I rubbed it on the concrete but not bad I think if you'd like to spin outdoors like me and my family I think this is a good kit for you to consider and once again since I pretty much messed this kit up I don't think you guys are going to want to buy this off of medicalgearoutfitters.com I appreciate Arms List for sponsoring this video what makes this different between us and North American Rescue, we're getting it from North American Rescue and we're reselling it because we are a distributor for them, but we're putting combat galls in it and Sealox Rapid. So if you would like to upgrade this kit to a hemostatic agent, then you can click on it and say, I want combat galls, I want Sealox Rapid. So this is gonna be an upgrade from the compressed galls. A little bit different, it's kind of the advantage that we have, we feel like, so I appreciate if you guys wanna to go to medicalgearoutfitters.com I'll put a link down below, also in the comments, if you wanna check out this kit. It's not a cheap kit, being completely honest with you. There's some expensive supplies in here, and this case itself is not cheap, but I think for the what this kit is designed for and what its purpose is, this is a good kit. So thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember, you need the right gear and the right training.